Good morning from day seven aboard the Disney Fantasy. This morning we are pulling into Castaway Key. A very rainy day pulling into Castaway Key this morning. Hopefully it does stop fairly soon. It's still only about like 7.30 and I don't think we're supposed to get off the ship until about 8.30 so hopefully it'll stop but we'll see. And just about an hour later the rain has finally stopped so it's time to disembark and enjoy the island. We finally made it to Serenity Bay, but it decided to rain most of the morning, unfortunately. To the point that even all of the excursions for the day were cancelled. So instead we decided to head to our couple's massage on Serenity Bay. Here's a look at our couple's massage cabana, and this was for a Swedish massage, which was 238 on the island. Here's a look at some of the products that were used, as well as our lovely view from the cabana. And after our massage, it was time for lunch, so we stopped at the Serenity Bay Barbecue to grab some of the quick service lunch. This was just kind of typical barbecue food, hot dogs, burgers, ribs, and some salmon and chicken, as well as all-you-can-eat ice cream and cookies and brownies. And for the final performance in the Walt Disney Theater for us on this cruise is Disney's Believe. Is it a turkey or a little swan? I think it's a turkey. Or a peacock. It's a peacock. A peacock. For, to, for the fantasy. Okay. Very cute. We have luggage tags for the sad day tomorrow as well as our comment card for our cruise. Dinner was back in Animator's Palette, we were told to draw a character using this sheet. Here is my finished product, and here is Hannah's. We ordered the sesame crusted tuna sashimi served with some ginger, wasabi, and soy sauce. 
followed by the Malaysian chicken satay served with a peanut sauce and cucumber. And lastly, the tomato caprese, which is buffalo mozzarella, normal tomatoes, and pickled basil. We also both ordered the white chocolate broccolini soup with toasted baguette croutons. And for our entree, we both ordered the grilled garlic marinated shrimp with linguine pasta. And we also shared the chicken schnitzel, which was breaded chicken breast, fried in butter, served with roasted bacon potatoes, and buttered green beans. <laughs> There's you! Oh, it's me too! being named an official Disney animator, it was time for dessert. We started with the amaretto cheesecake, which was creamy vanilla cheesecake layered with baked amaretto cream. Next up was the chocolate decadence for real chocolate lovers. Very rich and chocolatey. And lastly was the celebration cake, which was layers of cheesecake covered with strawberries and embedded with rich vanilla cream. And on our way out of the restaurant, we noticed a little surprise on the floor. The 101 Dalmatians were leading us out to the door. How cute. Okay, and to recap our Castaway Key Day. I mean, the energy was high. At yes. the start of the day, everybody was excited, and then it was pouring down rain. For most of the day. Yeah. So it rained as we were pulling in, so they kind of delayed the debarkation onto Castaway Key. We didn't do the 5K. Some brave souls did the 5K, and I don't know how they did the 5K, because there were areas that were straight up flooded. Yeah, with probably ankle-deep water. Yeah, so good on them. We didn't do that. We took our time and ate breakfast yeah. at Cabana's. And then once the sun kind of was out, got off the boat. Yeah. And by that time, it did stop raining a bit. We were able to meet uh, Jack Sparrow. We were the last family to meet Jack Sparrow. Yeah. And might have been the last family to meet any character that morning because <laughs> the rain started up pretty soon after that. But our mission was to get over to Serenity Bay. Mm -hmm. So got to Serenity Bay as it was raining. Um, and then once we got there, it just like opened up kind of downpour. The skies just emptied. Yeah. 
And I mean, you put your stuff under an umbrella, you go, oh well, it's the ocean anyway, so I'm already wet, so okay. And then you just kinda, you know. But all the excursions were canceled. Yes. The other thing that we were struggling with is that we had signed up for the yoga on the beach class. And no one seemed to know what was going on with it at yeah. all. So we're, we even had to ask people and finally somebody said, oh yeah, that was canceled. And we said, okay, because we wanted to cancel because of the rain. Right. They even shut down snorkeling. snorkeling for the good portion of the morning. So then pretty much once food started. People swarmed. Yes, because there's nothing else to do. So everyone ran to get food. So instead, we actually had booked a couple's massage for later in the afternoon that we were able to change to make it earlier. Because I just said, is there any way we can try to move this up early? Because we have to stay here until we do this. Right. But luckily they were able to accommodate that for us. So we had a cabana couple's massage. Yeah. So. Both of us, first massage. So like, I don't know that we're the best people to tell you if it was good or not. It was very relaxing. There were like, you know, the hole you put your head in. I was just, I'm not good at relaxing. So I was just kind of hanging out watching a bug walk around on the floor. That could be meditative, I guess. Yeah, sure. It, <laughs> it was nice. I mean, I'm just not used to anything like that. Yeah. Would you do it again? I think so. I want to try. I would want to try it on the cruise itself next time, rather than on the island, just because it was very humid. It was very humid, and the thing that I was kind of surprised by, which I mean, I should have known, open air. It was just like you hear the rains out mm -hmm. if it's raining, but if it wasn't pouring down rain on the tin roof what would you be hearing? Yeah, you'd have you the know, beach right there, so you'd hear all the people like The tram go on Hong Kong. I think for a rainy castaway day, go for it. Yeah. For a not rainy castaway day, I don't know that I would suggest that. Yeah. But the massage itself was very nice. Did, and they, they were very relaxed. nice. Our yes. massage therapists were both super nice. They didn't do the deep stuff. <laughs> But they were still like all over. Also, if you do this outdoor massage, they're gonna take the sand out of your toes. <laughs> and both of us were like, this is awkward. Yeah, that was that part was a little strange. But Yeah. I guess better that than having like the oil and whatnot and yep. have to be uncomfortable. So strange, I know that's kinda yeah. kinda weird, but yeah. So, like, emotionally prepare yourself for a stranger to remove the sand from between your little toes if you decide to do this experience. Yeah. Whether you're flying solo or part of a couple. Yeah. But we did the 50-minute massage, yep. so just under an hour, and I felt like that was just the right amount of time, at least for us, yep. being first-time massage goers. Um, but yeah. And then timing-wise worked out kind of perfectly. We finished the massage, and it was still lunchtime. And by then, there was no lines. Yeah. Which was great. You got the last cookie. I got the last cookie. So that's something to keep in mind. If you do wait till the end, they might be out of some of the things. Yeah. I don't know that they would run out of any of the entrees, but... Probably not. There was nothing here food-wise that rocked my world. No, it's same. All the food on the ship is way better. This is just kind of just typical, just like, like kind of want to say picnic food or barbecue, like just it's hot fine. dogs, burgers, it's chicken. Food. And I mean, at the adult portion, you do get some more options than you do with the family area. Right. So if you have grown-ups in your group who maybe want something a little more interesting, definitely go to the adult area yeah but this isn't like peak dining right you know it was just fine yeah but after lunch made our way back to the family area and well we hung out in the hammock for a while we did yeah so that was nice 
So we headed back to the ship and got ready for our dinner and got some more pictures with the characters and their... In their castaway key outfits. Yeah. So if it's raining and you're going, oh, I don't get to see the characters in their little outfits special to the island, do not fret. They might be on the boat. Yeah. So we were able to see Mickey and Minnie. And Chip and Dale. But they seem to say that kind of the character attendants were saying, what did you guys do? And we said, oh, we got a massage. And they were saying, oh, a lot of people just got back on the boat and did the midship detective agency that day. Mm. So I guess pros and cons of a rainy castaway day. It might be less crowded because people just bail and stay on the boat. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. We also were doing our packing yes. this time because we had to get our bags out basically like right after dinner. So we wanted to get all, all the packing done before dinner, before the show. So we did all that after Castaway. And then it was time for the show. Mm -hmm. So the show this evening was Disney's Believe. And what were your thoughts on this one? I liked this one best of the three. I agree. Just because I thought it was the most unique. Yeah. Not that it's not exciting to be like, wow, Aladdin live on stage and Frozen, same thing. But it was interesting to see all the different characters. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like there was something for everybody. Yeah. Because I'm not, you know, I don't know that every family member is going to be like, yes, Frozen. Right. So... I feel like this was kind of a more well-rounded yeah. experience for families, you I know. Mean, to have like Mary Poppins and um, Lion King. Ra there was Rafiki, about just about every princess you could ask for. Right. Just different things. Jeannie was back yeah. again and had a major role. So I feel like this one had something for everyone. Yeah. Which is is always nice and there was still all the pizzazz and bells and whistles yeah. that the other productions had but this one it, it seemed like was the most here's something for everyone on a stage in an hour go right and then for dinner this evening we finished our this was the last dinner of our whole cruise we finished it up back where we started in animators palette mm -hmm. and this was the really cool night with the drawings you are given a placemat and you are not given any food or drink which said i'm not even going to give you a drink until you're done drawing <laughs> yes because they have to get them in very quickly and they want to keep the paper kind of pristine so nothing gets messed up with their scanner or however they however they do it but you get to draw, draw your own character that make your lines thick yes that was what i learned yeah and then very cool that they just kind of incorporate them into the show and you put your names at the end. Very cool. Very original. Really enjoyed this one. I like this one better than the crush the first night, mm -hmm. I think. Um, well, it, again, involved more people. Right. Crush can only talk to so many people who are near the screen, but everybody gets to submit a drawing for this. Right. So it's a little more inclusive. Yeah. And then as far as the food goes here... We got, for our appetizers, the sesame crusted tuna sashimi, the Malaysian chicken satay, and the tomato caprese. All were very good. Nothing was bad here. I think my favorite was the tuna. I don't remember loving any of these three, but none of them were bad. Yeah. So... But I was distracted by the soup. Yes. So the soup was the star this evening. It was the white cheddar broccolini soup. It was so good. Get this soup if it's on the menu. It was so good. We ended up getting the recipe for it, but... It was so good. Yes. Fantastic. White cheddar broccoli soup. There were no broccoli chunks like a traditional broccoli cheddar soup well, would have. Well, it was have. green. The yes. whole soup was just green with little speckles in it yes very blended yes looks like split pea soup the other things just paled in comparison to my soup experience yes that's fair um moving on from the soup though for our entrees we both ordered the grilled garlic marinated shrimp over linguine and then we shared the chicken schnitzel there is a clear winner here 
the shrimp pasta was leaps and bounds better than the chicken schnitzel. That was just fine. Yeah. I had really high hopes for it and it was fine. It just was fairly bland and compared to the pasta, I just ate more of the pasta. Right. Pasta was very good, kind of similar to the pasta that I had on Pirate Night, minus the scallops, um, but flavor-wise was very similar. Um, good tomato sauce on it, um, garlicky, very, very good. Shrimp, again, cooked perfectly. So we'll get the pasta again. We'll skip out on the schnitzel here. So our desserts here, there was actually no creme brulee this night. So we ordered three things, kind of split one of them and yeah. Um, so the one that you mostly had was the celebration cake. And I liked it. Yes, this one was very good. This one was strawberry and vanilla cheesecake kind of mixed in one. Had like a nice like tie-dye almost design on top. It was pretty. Yeah. It was yummy. I ate too much of it. I would eat it again if somebody offered it to me. Yeah. But that one was very good. And then the one I was kind of disappointed with was the amaretto cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Wasn't very strong on the amaretto. Um, it was still good. Still a cheesecake. But... Not as good not as, as good. the celebration cheesecake. Right. But it was better than the apricot one from the second sea day. So there is that to say. And then lastly, I got the chocolate decadence. Nothing to go wrong with here if you're a chocolate fan. Very rich, chocolatey. So enjoyed that one as well. But I think the winner for this night was the celebration cake. So that will do it for our Castaway Key day experience. We just ran after dinner and put the bags in the hall. Yes. I mean, that that was the rest of the night. Exactly. And then went to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun. Last night of the cruise, so... Everyone seemed tired. <laughs> everyone's tired. Everyone's sad to leave the next morning. But it was a wonderful week. And that will do it for our Castaway Key Day. We will still have a video coming up next week for our debarkation day um, and our haul from our honeymoon. Mostly, mostly cruise haul, so we didn't get too much on land, but yeah, the whole haul from our honeymoon. So that'll be next week, so be sure to tune in for that one, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. See you real soon.